Howdy everybody, Cub here, and today we're taking a look at Minecraft Snapshot 15W33C, and we have shields. That's right guys, shields are now coming to Minecraft, and yeah, if you take a look here, if you right click, you can now block with the shield. They come in all sorts of different colors, uh, which you can see here. So pretty much any color you can imagine. You can also customize these, which I'll show you. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is the crafting recipe for shields? Well, you take some wool and you place it in the leftmost column of the crafting table. Uh, by the way, whatever color wool you choose here, that's going to be the color of your shield. And then you're taking some planks, put those in the center column, and then one iron ingot, and that's going to get you a shield. So the shields have 180 durability each, and they have the ability to be customized as well. So say if I wanted to put this banner pattern on there, I just simply take a shield that is the same base color as my banner, so in this case purple. So I'll put a purple shield and a purple banner in there, and that will yield a purple shield with the same uh, pattern as that banner. So there we go, as you can see. And you have to make sure it's the same base color, otherwise it won't work. So say if I put a black shield in with a purple banner, that will yield nothing. And you can also repair the shields in an anvil. Just simply place the shield in, along with some wood planks, and there you go. Your shield is now repaired. However, it does change colors, but I think that is a bug. So now onto some shield science. So first of all, right clicking with the sword has been completely removed now, as you can see. So I'm right clicking now and nothing is happening. Um, so basically that has been now delegated to the shield item. So if we go ahead and hold right click, you'll see the shield comes up. And we now are taking significantly less damage from the zombie than we would be otherwise. Uh, if I stop uh, holding down right click, see the zombie does a lot more damage. And every time you block a hit, the shield does take damage. Also, for melee mobs like zombies, the shield will protect you for 90 degrees to your left and your right. So you'll see here, if I start blocking, I can sort of look at him even in my periphery here and still be protected. However, if he attacks me from the back and I'm blocking, he still does the full damage. So blocking with the shield will also protect you when looking upward. So if I look upward with the shield and the zombie's in front of me, it still blocks, but it only protects uh, 45 degrees when you're looking downward. So if I look straight down, that doesn't work, but if I look at sort of an angle, like at his feet basically, that still does protect. And the same thing holds true for ranged mobs, so if I go ahead and block here, you'll see the, the shield now still blocks the arrows, and that even applies if I look to the side, for instance, so it's still blocking it here, uh, even though it seems like on my left side I am exposed. Also, shields can stop the gassed fireball if it hits the shield dead on, as you can see right here. Also, creeper explosions do get stopped by shields, so normally that would have killed me, but instead it only took three hearts. So the shield does not stop fire damage from a blaze, as you can see here. Um, so yeah, that's one thing it does not protect against. And same thing is true of damage potions thrown by a witch, or poison potions thrown by a witch. Uh, it does not protect against those. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.